In this video, I'm going to share five secrets to permanently getting rid of bed bugs from your home so that you no longer have to wake up to itchy bites and bumps so you can sleep without stress so you can have a good night's sleep like you used to before you had bed bugs. To make sure you don't miss any secrets, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and make sure you click the link below this video where I can talk to you personally and I'm gonna give you some tips of how we got rid of the bed bugs. Plus, make sure you watch the whole video and I'm gonna show you the secrets that you need to permanently get rid of the bed bugs from your home. Hi, my name is Jeremy Mangelwa and we used to have a terrible bed bug infestation right here in this bed. But today, we are completely bed bug free for at least two years now. And my goal is to make sure that all the bed bugs are completely gone from your home so you can sleep in peace again. So the first secret to getting rid of bed bugs from your home is to make them stop biting you. You see, bed bugs aren't in your house because you are dirty or because you have food lying around. Bed bugs feed on you. You are their food source. So if you can prevent the bed bugs from biting you, you can prevent the bed bugs from feeding. And the truth is that when bed bugs don't feed, bed bugs can't breed. And if they can't breed, that means they can't spread. The number one thing that you need to do to make sure that bed bugs start dying in your house is to make them stop biting you. Some other tips that you can do to make sure bed bugs don't bite you are these. So make sure you regularly wash your bed linens in hot water. So about 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's because bed bugs don't like heat and they will die in the heat. Both the adult bed bugs and the baby bed bugs. The next thing you could do is to vacuum your bed and the surroundings regularly. Make sure you use a good vacuum with a HIPAA filter to make sure that you trap any tiny particles. But I'm gonna share with you my best secret when it comes to making sure that bed bugs stop biting you. And that is secret number two. Secret number two is to make sure you get a bed bug proof mattress cover or mattress encasement. And what this is, it is a fabric with a zipper that you can put around your mattress. So whatever size mattress you have, we have a queen size mattress here. So make sure you get a bed bug proof mattress cover. And what that does is that if there are any bed bugs in your mattress, and which is where they will most likely be, is that it will prevent the bed bugs that are in the mattress from coming out and biting you and for any bed bugs that come onto your mattress from going inside your mattress cover. And the reason you do that is that you have to stop the bed bugs from biting you. That's the most important thing. And whenever you stop the bed bugs from biting you, guess what? You have some relief. Struggling with bed bugs is a psychological nightmare. We've been there before. It is terrible. You feel embarrassed, you feel stressed, you struggle, you can't really sleep well at night. So when you have a bed bug proof mattress cover, it means that you will keep the bed bugs inside the mattress cover. But the most important thing is that you will have some psychological peace, right? When they stop biting you, you stop waking up with itchy, red bumps on your skin every time on your hands or your legs. So it is most important because that's going to help you give you some more oomph in the bed bug fight. And also, this will take us to secret number three. See, bed bugs can live a long time without feeding, right? Bed bugs can live up to 400 days without eating any food. So, secret number three is that 
you need to leave. You need to leave the bed bug proof mattress cover on for at least 400 days. That is more than one year, all right? And that's because bed bugs can go into this state where they're just like not moving. They're not dead, but they're not moving. So we have had a mattress cover on this bed for more than one year because you need to make sure that whatever bed bugs are inside are completely dead, all right? Not just the adult bed bugs, but the baby bed bugs too. Bed bugs have a life cycle. The bed bugs that you're seeing right now in your home are not the only bed bugs that are in your home, all right? Bed bugs, uh, you have adult bed bugs, you have nymphs, those are the baby bed bugs, and you have a few other like, you know, stages for the bed bugs. You need to make sure that you kill not just the adult bed bugs, but also the baby bed bugs and also the eggs that will hatch afterwards. So one of the reasons that you may be struggling with bed bugs is that you are not killing the entire bed bug life cycle. So when you put a mattress cover on, you have to keep it on for at least 400 days. When selecting a bed bug proof mattress cover, make sure it is bed bug proof because there are mattress covers out there that are not bed bug proof. That means if you cover your bed with a mattress cover like that, you will not keep the bed bugs from coming out and they will continue to bite you. So you have to make sure, read the reviews, check, make sure that they are bed bug proof, all right? If you want to know the bed bug, the mattress cover that we used, hey, click the link below. Let's have a chat and you will get a free 30 minute um, chat with me where I'm going to just help you and hear your situation because my goal is to make sure you never see another bed bug in your home ever, all right? If you read the reviews and people say that, hey, we used this mattress cover, but it didn't work, we still were getting bed bugs, then that might not be a very good mattress cover. But if you wanna know the one that we used, hey, click the link below, schedule a 30 minute absolutely free interview with me and I'm going to tell you how we got rid of the bed bugs too. Then another thing that you need to do with the mattress cover is make sure that it is completely covered. They usually come with zippers like the one we have on here comes with zippers. Make sure the zippers are completely, I mean completely closed. Look, I understand the struggle of having bed bugs. Let me know in the comments below what is the most frustrating thing that you are dealing with bed bugs right now. For me, it was the fact that we sprayed and sprayed and they kept coming back. That was extremely frustrating. And But let me know in the comments below what is the most frustrating thing with bed bugs for you. So secret number four is you need to know how bad your infestation is, right? Because if you're seeing bed bugs every single day, your infestation is really bad. If you're being bitten every single day, it means your infestation is bad. But if say maybe you saw one bed bug, you know, and you haven't seen one for maybe three weeks or four weeks, it may not be that bad. But my policy is, look, if I see one bed bug, there are probably a hundred others and I go on an all out war. But ever since we eliminated the bed bugs, we have not seen any at all. And so, secret number four is that you need to have bed bug traps. And what the bed bug traps do is that they prevent bed bugs from the floor from climbing onto your bed. Bed bugs like to climb up the legs of the bed onto your bed to bite you. So you have a mattress cover right now that's going to encase your mattress, but that doesn't protect you from any bed bugs that are on the floor or in some other crevices or in anything that is under your bed from climbing up to your bed. So you have to use bed bug traps that work. Make sure that the bed bug traps 
are around the leg of each and every bed and I mean this each and every bed and what they do is that when a bed bug tries to climb up to get to you it's gonna get stuck inside the bed bug trap so bed bug traps they help one in preventing bed bugs from coming from the floor onto you and to feed on you that's one thing that they do and remember what I said before right that not being beaten will help you psychologically not being beaten will help you feel better you're in this fight and it is psychic it is a psychological fight and it is also a physical fight so another thing that bed bug traps will do is that they will tell you how bad your infestation is if you're seeing bed bugs in the traps every single day one it means that your traps are working two it means that you have a very bad infestation and you need to do more work to get rid of them all right but if you're seeing just a few bed bugs uh maybe two per week it means you can measure how effective the work that you're doing to get rid of them is right so make sure you get good bed bug traps that work some bed bug traps use pheromones we didn't use those we use the ones that the bed bug tries to climb in and it gets stuck make sure you're inspecting your bed bug traps regularly sometimes dust will collect in the bed bug trap if you have too much dust in the trap it won't work because then the bed bug will just climb up and it won't get stuck it will walk over the dust and then it will come to you so make sure you're inspecting the bed bug traps regularly i would say every day all right inspect them every day and if you find any bed bugs in there you know uh take them to the toilet and flush them out don't put them in the garbage because they could just climb out flush them out or kill them immediately secret number five is that you need to make sure that you do not have too much clutter around your bed especially clutter underneath the bed we found a lot of bed bugs in luggage that was stored underneath the bed in any equipment or boxes or stuff that you have underneath the bed right because that means that bed bugs can go there and hide there they'll come up in the night when you're sleeping bite you and then go back and hide in there so the less clutter you have the better however if when you're eliminating the bed bugs you have to check the clutter that's underneath the bed and around the bed the less clutter you have the better it is because it, it means that there are less places for the bed bugs to hide bed bugs like to hide in dark places they don't like being where there's light they like the dark warm places where they will stay for a while and then when you're not moving they'll come and bite you in the night or even in the daytime trust me even in the daytime so remove any unnecessary things from your bed books uh, make sure you declutter the area stacks of stuff make sure your area is clean another thing that you need to do right is you need to move your bed away from the wall and why is that because bed bugs can climb up along the wall and onto your bed if you have a headboard make sure that you put bed bug trap on the leg of the headboard right but make sure that the headboard isn't touching the wall because then your efforts won't really do anything because the bed bugs will just climb right along the wall onto your headboard and onto biting you another thing that you need to do whenever you, you go to bed if you're like me you like to charge your phone right beside you now you need to make sure that your phone the cable is not touching your bed because bed bugs can use that to come up onto your bed same thing with the nightstand if your nightstand is touching your bed bed bugs can crawl up the nightstand and get onto you and bite you the most important thing you need to make sure that bed bugs stop biting you that's the number one thing you need to do that will give you peace of mind and it will also start to kill the bed bugs by starvation hey if you've been struggling 
with bed bugs and you have tried everything that you know and nothing is working and the bed bugs keep coming back click the link below i want to talk to you my goal is to make sure you never see another bed bug in your house ever again click the link below you get a free 30 minute chat with me and i'm going to tell you about the steps that my family and i we took to completely get rid of the bed bugs so click the link below and schedule a free 30 minute call with me all right and then i will also give you a free pdf that's going to tell you, tell you the eight steps that we took to be permanently free from bed bugs we used to have a ton of bed bugs it was horrible it was messy but today we sleep in peace we sleep like babies all right it is a lot a lot more peaceful if you've been struggling with bed bugs you don't have to struggle alone i'm gonna help you completely get rid of the bed bugs so click the link below so that you will may never see a bed bug again in your life hey i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video make sure you share it make sure you subscribe to it hit the notification bell so that as i create more videos you will be notified and also make sure you click the link below schedule a, a call with me so we can talk and get your absolutely free eight steps that we took to completely get rid of bed bugs so that you will completely get rid of your bed bugs too all right i'll see you soon god bless